in this video i'll be discussing the most crucial part uh, the you can say most uh, time consuming part most uh, research part uh, where i need uh, required a huge amount of research to be done because in our course uh, something something else was taught and to compare that technology uh, what was taught and to implement that thing like uh, uh, here uh, i have implemented the server in the spring boot but uh, in our course it was taught uh, how to implement the server in express node so it was a very really a hectic job for me to uh, as i am not from the non it it background so it was very hectic job for me to dockerize the spring boot and then going there this part as this uh, code is of three lines only but to write this three line code i need to spend about uh, <clears throat> two to three days researching about it i have uh, kept all that uh, files as well i'll show you that files this so uh, uh, i keep a record of all the files here uh, when i do the research of any topic in this format so i'll be showing all of this or i will after the explanation so let me first uh, show what are the critical uh, parts uh, which where i face the problem this was the first part dockerizing the spring because uh, we were taught how to dockerize the express app and the second next i was um, really spending time uh, I, lot of time was spent because i was not able to connect the uh, front end to back end this three line of code as you see this three line of code but it took me around 3 days to uh, write this uh, three line of code and i was not able to reload the pages and uh, many of the uh, pages i have there uh, reloading the pages uh, to refresh the uh, content i have implemented that uh, reload uh, refreshing the pages via reload so all that functions were failing so i need to spend a huge amount of time on this uh, reloading part this is the most crucial part to connect the front end to the back end and in a similar fashion you can implement the microservices as well uh, microservices means you can have a back end separately in other servers as well like express and uh, spring i will be uh, trying to implement my some functionalities on uh, express uh, js as uh, also but uh, due to time constraint yet i have not implemented i will be looking it as a future scope and then uh, after that i uh, faced the problem in creating this uh, uh, backup and after creating the backup major task was to uh, replenish this uh, uh, data backup into uh, tables so i researched huge amount of uh, things to how to take the backup from the mysql and how to restore that backup uh, into the uh, tables that was also a time consuming and uh, research oriented because we were not taught how to um, restore and take the backups i know how to write the queries and how to get fetch the data but uh, um, keeping the backup of the data was not taught that's why i faced that problem and uh, other things uh, uh, important things and uh, more the things where i need to spend the time was uh, regarding the connecting the tables uh, entities uh, this part many to one and one to many relationships i'll show you one of the example here uh, like for example user <coughs> a patient one of the specialty of uh, spring data gpa is that uh, we can easily fetch the data from the uh, back end and i have realized that uh, it is very 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 easy to fetch the data from uh, gpa uh, from database otherwise we will be uh, tired by writing the uh, long long queries for uh, consisting because there are many you can see there are many foreign keys i have used 
and to implement all these foreign keys, uh, it would be a very hectic job if you don't use the gen data GPA. And uh, really, data GPA has um, reduced my efforts to uh, very less amount. For example, if I am uh, fetching the patient, so along with the patient, patient, you will be getting the details of user as well. You will be getting the details of ward. And via ward, you can get the details of all the ward details. You can uh, let me show you what are the details. Uh, for example, if you have user details here, that means you have uh, all the details like first name, last name of that user, email ID, password, role that you can very easily access through this user. Uh, you can write the query like uh, patient dot. I have written here query. I will show you. DTO for a patient. <coughs> for example, say I have implemented here. You can very easily get the uh, patient. P is the patient. P get user. And then from the user, I'm getting the first name. Otherwise, you would have to implement the native query for that. So connecting this was a really hectic for me because many a times uh, it is very confusing where to write uh, one to many and mapped by a user. And this cascading also is required. Without this cascading, you cannot fetch the data or insert the data. And I faced the problem during insertion time as well. While inserting the data, uh, as you can see here, it is a patient. There is a user, ward, uh, doctor, which are related to that patient. So whenever I try to um, insert the data using uh, JPS inbuilt uh, query, that is we have only one query to insert the data that is save. So when I try to save the data, uh, it was requiring user as well. You require ward as well, doctor as well. And it was inserting uh, through all the um, uh, dependencies. So it was uh, as I'm uh, passing the only the required data and I was not passing the word details and all. So it was always failing. So to avoid that, I need to change this thing to persist. And I have uh, written insertion uh, query separately. I have not used a save for saving the data. I have written all the insertion queries separately. So you can see insert into medicines, then uh, insert into patient. So there also I have uh, used it uh, native queries only. This native queries uh, I have used only for the insertion purpose because there are very less options available for the insertion purposes. Then uh, other things where I uh, required research was to ignore the uh, data, null uh, data. Like uh, uh, when I'm passing, when I was passing the data to the JSON, there were no non null fields. Fields also were going, so I need to learn about this uh, Jackson include non-null then uh, to exclude the fields also i need to write here uh, exclude uh, here non-null values <coughs> then more interesting uh, thing you know, through my learnings i found is the lombok library earlier i used to write all the getters setters manually and uh, after uh, going through the some article, I found out that we can just uh, by simply writing the at the rate uh, no arcs constructor getters setters, we can directly uh, get all the setters and getters automatically. So these are the some of my learnings. You can say my learnings, and uh, this will be continuing uh, after second phase. I will be again uploading the video for a second learning phase. And uh, I will try to implement one microservice uh, and I'm uh, hoping that I will be able to implement a microservice like uh, I want to put that uh, user sign in in Express.js. So let's uh, see what will happen. If time permits, I will definitely do. But this is the up-to-date project um, report. And uh, I will also show the Amazon deployment in the next video. Thank you.